All right, guys. It is a fine autumn evening here in the end times where I am. Uh, it is October 1st, 2024. We have sprung into October starting with the final quarter of this year. And uh, <coughs> I am celebrating October by making my very final batch of homemade salsa out of my garden here. You know, it's the, the tomatoes are the easy part. It's these goddamn peppers. But anyway, I'm just sitting here. Uh, I've I'm, I'm been working out on the levee all day today. I spent three and a half hours on my on my hands and knees with a damn spading fork and shit today. Uh, on top of my levee getting it ready for next year and uh, a lot of time to think and uh, working on that levee uh, <laughs> busting my ass for God knows what what it, what why did I just spend three and a half fucking hours oh Jesus and uh what I was spending a lot of time thinking about was bullshit. Uh, just the bullshit of doing what I was doing. And uh, so I think it's time for, you know, it's, the, 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 there's nothing, not, now, don't get me wrong, there, there was nothing good about turning 65 and uh, officially becoming an old man with broken teeth, stranded without love. But there's something about turning 65, I can now officially, I can officially pontificate about my uh, musings about the, the human condition uh, and other subjects from the standpoint of an old fart. You know, it used to be, well, I hear rumors that uh, our elders used to be respected. Uh, and so there was a time, although I, I, I don't know when, that uh, old farts were actually looked up to. Now, of course, we are old and in the way is, is what we are. But uh, it, gives, it gives some perspective officially being in your golden years and uh, so the thing that I was reflecting on was 65 years of bullshit just the unbelievable fucking bullshit that that, that every one of us deal with and uh, you know I'm just wondering are 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 we all born with just like a, you know, an empty bullshit vial. Do we come into the world uh, and, and there's this, I don't know, like some, some part of our body or brain and what it is, it's just a receptacle for bullshit, for a lifetime of fucking bullshit. And eventually the bullshit reservoir gets filled up. Now, it used to be, you see, I understand that humans have a natural lifespan of 37 years. You know, we are a great ape, uh, so we should live about as long uh, as our teeth and our eyeballs, which are about 37 years. So, my guess is that evolution provided us with with a 37 year deep well of a bullshit collection every one of us comes into this planet and we're supposed to uh, you know just deal with, with all of this fucking bullshit and that we should be dead 
before the the bullshit well overflows well if you go to 65 so my fucking bullshit uh well uh it, you know it's 28 years ago uh the great age of 37 which was actually the how old i was when my 76 year old mother died and, and i'm quite sure my my mother would have been interested on this theory uh, uh, about a lifetime tolerance of bullshit because it really does get harder a as you grow older. I, I hate to tell you guys, if you think, it, it, if you're particularly under the age of 37 and, and you're already having problems dealing with bullshit, uh, I might make this new research on Gen Z uh, workers, this new report on Gen Z workers, part of this rant, or I might make a whole rant about uh, <laughs> about the work ethic of, of Gen Z uh, workers who are, you know, they're, they got out of college when uh, four months ago, and they're already, they're sick and tired of the bullshit of working for a living. Uh, and of course, their bosses over the age of 37 are already sick and tired of them. But that's that, that certainly is, is one of the things I've been thinking about today. Uh, but, but if you're a Gen Zer and you think you have already, uh, you're already getting, get, getting sick and tired uh, of, of the of the fucking bullshit, uh, uh, you, you know. Before you're what? Before you're 25 years old. I got some bad news for you, dude and darling. Uh, you 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 got you ain't seen nothing yet. And uh, so by the time you get 65, you, you, you know you're like that dam trying to hold back that river. In, uh, in North Carolina, it, it just fucking overflowed. You just can't, you literally can't take any more bullshit. And, and, and it just, uh, and, and it just overflows. And, and uh, by the time you hit 65, just, you know, just the slightest addition of, of fucking bullshit. Uh, it, it just it just throws you uh, in, in, into fucking bullshit overload. So I'm I'm sitting here trying to classify, looking over 65 years uh, of dealing with fucking bullshit. Same kind of bullshit that every one of us deal with. Uh, at least this this is the bullshit, uh, you, you know, from a well, up until a few years ago, an, an upper-middle-class, suburban white male, college-educated, uh, with all of the, quote, advantages. Uh, you, you know, I got white privilege. I've got male privilege. I've got economic privilege. Well, I, I walked away from the economic, but, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, most of my life, up until age 50, uh, I, I I had economic privilege as well, but uh, so th th this you know I'm a the, the 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 about the one of the last years of being a uh, of being a boomer. I'm one of the last boomers to uh, give you the perspective, and, and so I'm sitting here trying to classify what are the different classifications of bullshit when when you boil it all down where does the fucking bullshit come from and it makes me wonder if we actually don't have just one bullshit lifetime bullshit reservoir but but three of them you, you know it, it just kind of like your brake fluid your power steering fluid and your uh, I don't know, your windshield washer fluid, that you have three different reservoirs uh, of fucking uh, bullshit. And they would be, uh, they're, they're pretty easy to categorize, especially uh, the, the, the overarching uh, source of bullshit. Uh, overfilling uh, your reservoir is other people.
other people, um, which which kind of include the, uh, the 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 other two. So you, you've got just dealing with other people as your number one, hands down, far and away. Uh, the the biggest source of uh, of bullshit dealing with other fucking people, but uh, kind of uh, subsets of that are are dealing with technology with uh, you know all of these uh, th these modern technologies that were supposed to make our life fucking easier here in the 21st century uh and and the the technological breakdowns as chris ria saying this ain't no technological breakdown this is the road to hell uh you know just deal i i i, I mean and, and of course uh it, it's fucking gas sucking vehicles or electric vehicles 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 and and the unbelievable amount of, of bullshit that we deal with and put up in our lives to own a private vehicle, the unimaginable level. And, and of course, a, a huge part of that is, is, you know, is dealing with other people. And then, of course, uh, as I just mentioned in that, uh, in, in that uh, earlier about Gen Z's, it's working for a living work working for a living is the is the third major source of, of bullshit uh and and of course the bullshit of unemployment i consider a subset of the bullshit of employment you you can't escape the the bullshit of uh, of working for a living uh, by becoming voluntarily unemployed, then you open up an entire new source of bullshit. So don't think uh, that I'm saying uh, that we'll, we'll get to that. But but it's mainly just you know what I'm talking. It's mainly other people. We we know exactly. What, what what the fuck I'm talking about from from the day you from the from the minute you wake up till the minute you go to bed you are dealing with bullshit from other people so uh, I, I I mean uh, on every fucking level uh, de dealing with other people and and it starts before. Your, uh, before your fucking cup of coffee. Uh, I had not even had my coffee this morning. And I was already dealing within, uh, within uh, less than 10 minutes of, uh, of waking up this morning and checking my phone messages and my email messages and my comments and whatnot, uh, you know, checking in with other people. I was already dealing with bullshit from uh, from at least three people that 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 uh, j j just f from various things. Uh, people wanting my fucking money. People call blah blah blah. Perfect example. Okay, here, here's what I'm dealing with. It, it is this clueless fucking moron. I'm thinking he's probably a Gen Zer, some punk ass little fucking know it all Gen Zer. I'm guessing, cause he sounds like I sounded like when I was, you know, like 15 years old when. Uh, I obviously knew no knew more about how everything on this planet worked than than, than any 65 year old than than any uh, person who had been on this fucking planet over four times as long as me. I knew more about how this world worked than they did, and this this clueless fucking moron 
what's his name, this irritating little troll. I don't know why I haven't kicked this little fucktard off uh, of my channel. I think I might have kicked him off Collapse Chronicles because Sam Mitchell won't put up with the fucking bullshit that him a little tell does. And uh, what this is about is about rat traps. Th th this little fucktard, he thinks that he is, is, is the know-it-all about rat traps. That th this rat trap, this very common kind of rat trap, which I have known about since I was this little fucktard's age. This is, it, it's, you know, you, you, it's, it's basically a five-gallon bucket, and, and you, and it has a... A, how do you explain this? Uh, with a cover on it, and you put the bait in the middle, and when the mouse walks out to get the food, the top of the bucket caves in. Uh, that's an oversimplification, but that's the kind of trap it is. So this little fucktard just makes the assumption that a 65-year-old man uh, has never heard of these traps. Guys, this, this is just one example. I, I, I could be pulling a dozen examples. And, 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 and he goes off on this fucking tear, calling me a fucking moron and, and, and all of this shit because I am not using these five-gallon bucket rat traps in my uh, tiny houses. What this is an example of is a clueless fucking moron uh, spitting shit out of his ass that he knows nothing about. Now, I, I don't know if this little fucktard has ever even used one of these mouse traps, as I have. And I will say there are applications for these traps where they might make uh, some sense, but they are not an appropriate uh, fix for tiny houses. Th th this little fucktard knows nothing about fucking tiny houses. He's probably never used one of these fucking rat traps. He, he, he knows nothing about running a fucking business dealing with clueless fucking moron uh, customers. Uh, and, 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 and he, he knows absolutely nothing. Talking this shit out of his ass thinking uh, that a 65-year-old man uh, doesn't know about these fucking rat traps and, 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 has, and, and hasn't uh, considered them and, and uh, understood they are not applicable to my problem. They might be applicable to his mouse problem. All mouse problems are not created equally. I am not a clueless fucking moron if these five-gallon bucket mouse traps were a, a, a solution uh, for my problem with these mice, uh, I, I would have been using them for the past three years. Uh, there's all sorts of fucking reasons that they are not uh, a workable solution for the mouse problem I am dealing with. I'm not going to sit here and, and go off on, on, on a fucking 30 minute rant uh, uh, about fucking uh, mouse traps. I, I, I'm just using this as one example uh, of just dealing with some clueless fucking moron. Maybe coming, you know, I appreciate it. You know, people giving me ideas. Uh, say your piece, make your suggestion. Uh, maybe I haven't thought of it. You know, one of my biggest YouTube videos I've ever made is how to remove dents with a toilet plunger. I was, uh, I was almost 60 years old before a, a, a seasoned 
bodywork mechanic told me uh, about using a fucking toilet plunger to get dents out of my truck. Uh, he goes, dude, I do it all the fucking time. This was a man who, uh, who, uh, knew what the fuck he was talking about. Uh, probably 50 years old. Uh, I did not believe it for one fucking minute, but I went and tried it out, and you can go to my video, uh, how to remove dents with a toilet plunger. I think it has, good God, 400,000 views. It's one of my most popular, uh, videos ever. But I'm not saying, as you see on that video, it's not appropriate for removing all dents. There are some dents that a fucking toilet plunger will remove. There's some dents that it won't. There are some mice that will get caught in one of these five-gallon uh, traps, and there's some fucking mice where it's not appropriate to use that kind of trap. You know, but it, it is dealing with clueless fucking morons, particularly ones uh, probably less than half your age, acting like uh, they know everything about the fucking world when they don't know fucking shit from Shinola and this little fucktard ABC probably doesn't know how to finish the fucking alphabet. And, and then, of course, uh, technological technological breakdowns. Uh, I, I, I don't even need uh, to, to bore you guys uh, with, with, with this motherfucking brake light uh, on, 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 on this goddamn truck. Uh, wh wh how many hours... Uh, how much money, blah, 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 have I already spent trying to get this motherfucking brake light uh, off of this motherfucking truck so I can get this motherfucking inspection, which gets down into dealing with other people, you know, which would be dealing with uh, bureaucracy uh, like the DMV and whatnot. Uh, it, 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 this motherfucking brake light... It, it is eating my fucking brain. When when I was, if I was 35 instead of 65, this fucking brake light would be a would be a minor irritant in my life. The fucking brake light is eating my fucking brain. And uh, I'm going to see if the 19-year-old Amish kid uh, can fix it tomorrow. If, if the 19-year-old Amish kid, who has never uh, driven a car in his entire life, uh, if he's not able to get the motherfucking brake light off, I, I guess I'm just gonna, uh, I, I'm just gonna take the fucking bulb out, cross my fingers, and, uh, and, and, and uh, hope I don't end up in fucking jail, you know, uh, but, but, but the, 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 this fucking computer that, that I have been fucking dealing with, uh, this, uh, goddamn summer, an entire summer I have spent trying to, or, uh, you know, trying to get a fucking laptop computer. Uh, this, this, the, the unimaginable fucking, uh, 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 unadulterated horseshit, uh, that I went through, and, uh, I, I, I you know, I just, just said, just, just said, fuck it, uh, it, 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 it is what it is, and it, this goddamn computer, uh, was it the third or the fourth one, 
uh, $600 piece of fucking shit. Uh, but I'm just, I, I, I'm just exhausted. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking tired of fighting it. So I'm just going to settle, uh, for this, for this fucking piece of shit, uh, that, that I'm, that I'm not happy with, but because I, it, it's just, you, 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 you just, you, you reach your fucking, uh, bullshit. Uh, tolerance. It just overflows in, in, in any fucking short circuit. And, and, and as millions and millions of people do, they get so fucking sick and tired of fighting the fucking bullshit in, in their fucking lives. They just put up with it. They fucking put up with it. Which uh, gets into my uh, the, the third part of my rant. Uh, and, and that, of course, is working for a living, uh, which, which I have always called the essential existential uh, hell uh, of, of, of human survival it is working for a living. It, it just, uh, it's un fucking uh, the, the, the believable the, the amount the, the amount of fucking uh, bullshit that uh, people put up with uh, for a, a, a fucking paycheck it's just it, 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 it absolutely floors me I've never fucking understood it um, and, and I've been pretty lucky <clears throat> Avoiding it, I uh, I have I have worked very hard, uh, very hard at avoiding a, you know that nine to five working for the man punching the fucking clock, uh, working for some you know obviously the the worst the biggest part of working for a living is dealing with uh, other employees, both uh, employers and co-workers. Uh, the, 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 the very thought, and uh, I, I, I know one fellow who's listening to this, uh, and, 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 and I have a lot of respect for this man and anybody else who can work at fucking Walmart for 20 years. I, I, I have no idea uh, how somebody can uh, graduate from high school and, and, and go to work for Walmart and, uh, and before they're 40 years old uh, have 20 years of experience. I'm not knocking uh, people who work at, at Walmart. Uh, I, I could not do what this man does. I couldn't do it. Uh, I, I would have put a bullet through my fucking head uh, at least 19 years ago if, if I thought my life was going to be uh, spending my fucking life uh, working at Walmart. I would kill myself. Uh, it's, it's probably, I guess it's a good thing that uh, the, the millions and millions and millions of people who work at fucking Walmart are not me because otherwise everybody who works at Walmart would put a fucking bullet through their head tonight and then where the fuck am I going to go buy this burned out running light for my truck tomorrow? I, 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 I have a lot of respect uh, for, for Walmart workers. Uh, their 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 uh, their their tolerance, uh, but but anyway, I, this article, which I'm not going to read, is getting dark. But in Fortune magazine, uh, the, this very controversial article that Fortune uh, was talking about was, was talking about Gen Z workers. I guess it is maybe this is the I, I never know in these generations, but I but I gather from the article that the the college graduating class of 2024 was the first graduating class of Gen Zers, if I I, I think is what they were saying, uh, and and. What they, the, the, this article is talking about, uh, 
interviewing all of these people, I guess, boomers or wh whoever followed us as that Generation X, whoever those next guys were, who are now in uh, management positions, talking about this crop of worthless piece of shit uh, workers. Uh, being pumped out of colleges, these uh, these spoiled brat, these entitled uh, these entitled spoiled brats uh, who have never known a hard day's work in their life uh, can't be away from their fucking phone uh, for three minutes. Uh, they, they they try to put them uh, in, in in you know put them to work. They're absolutely worth pieces of shit as workers and, and uh, I think it was saying that 60 percent of uh, hiring managers uh, who have hired college graduates from the year 2024 have already fired them uh, for being just you know just hopeless fucking workers and then I'm you know so I'm I'm, I'm reading that you know from the place of a a 65 year old uh, boomer who has spent his entire life avoiding working jobs like they were talking uh, about and, and I'm thinking you know I was cheering on uh, the, these boomer and Gen Z hiring managers firing the, these little fucks uh, with their fucking attitudes and uh, their, their absolute just no respect uh, for showing up for work on time, calling in sick, uh, just, 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 you know, fuck you. Uh, you know, I, I remember two instances, I've done rants about them, where I was, uh, one time I was at Lowe's and uh, asked this kid of where the cotter pins were. He had never fucking heard of a cotter pin uh, in, in his entire life. And then I remember having a very similar experience in Allentown, Pennsylvania, when I was trying to find a fucking crescent ranch. And uh, th th this fucking uh, Gen Z or whatever the fuck they were, never heard the term in his entire life, never heard the fucking term crescent wrench. No clue what a fucking crescent wrench. They don't know. These, these fucking kids, uh, that they, they have no fucking clue what a cotter pin or a crescent wrench is. Like, what the fuck are you doing uh, working at Home Depot and, and Lowe's or any of these uh, places? And what do I do? I have to go around uh, until I find a fucking boomer uh, to help me who knows what, what a fucking crescent wrench is. And, and or or a, a, a goddamn cotter pen is. I need to get my cilantro. So anyway, that was my initial reaction to that story. Fuck these little, uh, the, the, these little Gen Z pussies, the, these whiny, entitled, spoiled fucking brats coming out of fucking college, spending four years doing whatever thing, you know, coming out uh, of college thinking the fucking world owes them a goddamn six-figure job uh, on, on the fucking day they graduate uh, a, a, a four-year college. Uh, and, and, and putting all of these fucking salary requirements and all of this shit, uh, fuck you, 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 you fucking little punk, the, 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 the fucking planet doesn't owe you shit, you little fuck, uh, shut the fuck up, and, and uh, so I, I'm thinking all that, and, uh, so then, 
uh, you, you know, I started hearing uh, the the side of it uh, from these, uh, you know, uh, from these kids, uh, these twenty something uh, kids. And guess what? They sounded exactly like me uh, when I was fresh out of college. Exactly like me. Fuck you telling me to fucking come here to uh, spend the next 40 years of my fucking life working at fucking Walmart, punching a fucking uh, time clock, listening to your shit uh, all day, dealing with these clueless fucking, uh, these clueless fucking moron co-workers, uh, thinking I'm going to sit here and kiss your fucking ass, suck your fucking dick, uh, and, and, and what, uh, for 12 Twelve dollars a fucking hour and a goddamn week's worth of vacation. Take this fucking job and shove it up your fat fucking boomer ass. Go fuck yourself, Mister Hiring Manager. Uh, you pathetic piece of shit. And I'm thinking, hell yeah. You go, Gen Zers. I'm cheer. I'm I'm cheering these kids on. Uh, and, you know, good for you, uh, figuring out at, at, uh, at age 22 how fucked you are and, and that you're not going to play this fucking game. But, but of course, you, you know, the flip side of that, if you're not going to play that fucking game, you entitled little fuck, what, what fucking game do you think you're going to fucking play? Uh, I, I'm sorry. But you're fucked. You know, at least I had. Uh, you know, I came out of college with a with a journalism degree. So when so I came, uh, I hit the you know the job scene in uh, in 1983 is when I hit the uh, the the job scene and. Uh, so I went into journalism. I was a, 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 you know, a freelance journalist when you could actually, I mean, not make much money, but you could make, a, 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 you know, a little bit of money. And if you married somebody uh, who also uh, had a job, uh, you know, you could still, if you could borrow some money from your rich boomer parents, you could still buy a house and all of this shit like I did. And, and but the kids today can't do it. There's, there's no fucking way. I'm thinking of these fucking poor kids. Like, do they even have journalism schools anymore? The, the fucking internet has destroyed uh, journalism. It's absolutely destroyed journalism, certainly as a career opportunity. And, and then the, the other thing is, you know, when, when I got sick of that, uh, after seven years of being a, uh, a journalist, I, I just went into real estate. I, I made more fucking money in the first three months of getting my real estate license than I had made in the previous year, busting my ass a, a, as a freelance journalist. And, and, and uh, But now, as of literally a few weeks ago, uh, the, the entire fucking real estate industry it has been uh, has been turned inside out. Uh, there's you know seasoned real estate agents who have been in the fucking business uh, for years are uh, fleeing uh, the, these new rules in, uh, in in real estate. So real estate is no longer uh, available. As a, uh, as a, and I'm not even bringing the, the whole Doomer shit into it. Uh, so, journalism and real estate are both closed. They're closed. Uh, and, and I'm thinking without journalism and real estate, what the fuck would I have done with my entire fucking life? What the fuck would I have done with it? 
I, I, I would have, I, if I was 22 years old right now, even if I weren't a doomer, uh, uh, understanding how fucked I am, uh, uh, because, you know, of overshoot and all the other, even without being a fucking doomer. You don't have to be a fucking doomer uh, to understand how fucked you are and, and, and the fucking bullshit that you're going to be up against. I got nothing but pity for these entitled, spoiled, brat, whiny little fucks. But anyway, uh, that was what I was thinking about uh, while I was down on my hands and knees with a fucking pitchfork on top of a levee all day today, but uh, now that I have finished my salsa, I'm going to wrap this up and enjoy some homemade salsa out of my garden for the last time in 2024 while I still can. And that ain't no bullshit. There is the bullshit that I forgot to buy the that I forgot to pick up a fucking lime. Jesus fucking Christ. Dealing with the bullshit of yourself. I, I left out uh, dealing with your own bullshit. That's a whole nother rant for another day. Dealing with self-generated bullshit. Forgetting to pick up a fucking lime when you drove all the fucking way to the store for some cilantro. Walking past 10,000 fucking limes when you're a margarita drinker. You're a fucking margarita drinker, Hambone. And you don't have one fucking lime or, or drop of lime juice in, in, in this fucking house. And no, I can't just pour simply limeade into my salsa. Sorry, guys. Bye, guys.